Hi guys, this is Vidas and I'm in my church, Vilnius University St. John's Church today. And in this video I would like to show you how to improvise only using three simple chords. Tonic, subdominant and the dominant chord uh, of C major, G major, A minor and F major. And we will put everything into the form of beautiful chacon. Okay? So, Chacon, of course, is the dance from the Baroque period and it lends itself very well for those ground-based variations. And it generally is played in 3-4 meter. So, we will change the chords once per measure. In one beat, we'll have a root position chord of tonic on the second beat first inversion and then on the third beat uh, basically um, second inversion right but in general this is just one chord throughout one measure and in the second measure we'll have subdominant chord then in the third measure dominant chord and then basically again to the tonic chord so playing the bass line it would sound like this, C, F, and G. The hand part would sound like this. putting it together. That's our theme. And um, we can expand it into eight measures by doubling everything. Uh, repeating the chordal uh, structure, tonic, subdominant, dominant, and tonic. And of course, to make it more interesting, I will play not only uh, closed position, but open position between the notes in the, in the hands, where intervals more than perfect fourth are uh, present between the inner voices and the soprano and tenor, soprano and alto, uh, basically wider intervals, right? Let's take a look. I can, of course, introduce uh, a little varied rhythms like dotted notes and sometimes even uh, eight notes to make it more interesting. And even parallel motion between the hands in sweet sounding intervals of thirds and sixths, like this. Right? After this, if you can practice this on your own and uh, get some fluency, uh, hands separately and uh, pedals separately and then putting everything together, you can take a look at a uh, closely related key of G major, which is the dominant key in comparison to C major, right? It has one sharp and the tonic subdominant and the dominant chords sound like this. I will be playing on the second manual with different registration. Principle 8 and 4. And before I had just one principle.
also eight measures of beautiful simple three note chords in G major. After that, I could go on to the third manual with a different registration, 842 principles, for example, and play the same thing in A minor. Uh, that would be a relative key of C major with zero accidentals, but remember to add C uh, or uh, G sharp uh, on the dominant chord because it has to be major. Of course, I can then come back to the second manual and play uh, in the basically F major key, which is subdominant of C major, closely related. And uh, the basic chords would sound like this. And um, the final section of our uh, chacon could be in C major, going back to the first manual on the, on the principle 8 registration, like this. Very simple structure. Uh, maybe I should also uh, tell you a little trick uh, how I connect the chords. If I have to connect tonics to subdominant or dominant and tonic, it's one trick uh, than subdominant and tonic. Because uh, tonic and subdominant is a perfect fourth or a perfect fifth apart like dominant and tonic as well. And they have one common note, C major chord in the tonic. In C major key, those, those uh, chords have one common note, C. So I, I kind of can, uh, can either move all the voices or uh, make C notes stationary, right? The same is when I move from the dominant to tonic. Uh, the, the common note is G, like this. So I can move the G around uh, together with other voices, or I could um, make it stationary like this. But if I connect subdominant to the dominant in the third measure in any key, I have to use a trick of uh, par uh, contrary motion. If the bass goes up from four to uh, five, from the fourth scale degree to the fifth scale degree, from subdominant to the dominant, I need to actually move my other voices down in the hands. Otherwise, I will have parallel fifths and octaves, forbidden intervals in tonal music. So in C major, it would sound like this, subdominant and dominant. Bass goes up, F to G.
and the hands go down. Not everything together upwards like this. That would be a parallel motion and that's forbidden in the chords which are only a second, interval of the second apart. Okay, so let's see how it all sounds. Remember the form C major on the first manual, F major or G major in, on the second manual, A minor uh, on the third manual, then F major on the second manual, and then again C major on the first manual. Let's do it. Does it sound uh, advanced? I think so, re relatively advanced. But is it difficult to do? Not at all. I'm only using um, three note chords of uh, tonic, subdominant, and the dominant in all those related keys. But you have to practice all those uh, chords separately and then put together hands and pedals and then play four bar or eight bar phrases uh, to form the basic uh, uh, th theme in, in, in each key, right? And remember, you can expand, uh, make it um, twice as long in each key or three times as long. Uh, remember uh, Chacon or Pasacalia, related genre by Dietrich Buxtehude. He, in each key, he, he uses, uh, let's say, D minor Pasacalia, right? He uses seven variations in each key, seven. Right, so it's it's longer uh, section. Uh, I could play also like this, but what Buxtehude does, and what you can do as a separate step, a little more advanced, is actually connect uh, C major with G major, uh, or G major with A minor, or A minor with F major, or F major with C major by a little modulation uh, leading to a cadence in that desired key and a ending probably uh, on the dominant chord of the new key in order not to stop the music but basically uh, like use like a question mark before the new section begins. I can demonstrate how it sounds a little bit. I will expand each, each section a little bit. C, C major, G major, A minor, F major and C major back 
right and make it longer and plus I will add a little bit of uh, modulation with between each um, each uh, section and you will see how it goes okay
at the end, after the final C major section, I added uh, excursion into the subdominant key of F major by holding pedal note C. It was called the tonic pedal point and uh, effectively I could uh, modulate a little bit into F major key and uh, to make the idea to have a feeling of a closure basically. If I hold a long tonic note on the note C, right, pedal for several measures, I can actually um, go to the subdominant key and come back to C major key. That's also very beautiful and uh, helps to create the ending of any Baroque sounding piece. And not only Baroque, Romantic too. So I hope you enjoyed my little demonstration. Uh, please um, practice each of those steps, right? And um, with time you can get fluent and you can modulate, add interludes between those sections, between going to various manuals, right? And it will sound even more advanced like, like I did, okay? Thanks so much. Stay tuned for my other videos. This was Vidas and we'll catch you online next time. Bye-bye.